Hey guys! Hi everyone! Who's back? I feel like I've been here in so long! I know. It's been like a couple weeks. I know, that's not usual for no. us. And I've been saving this one. I wanted to watch it for Easter. Mm. And it's still... I feel like Easter and spring are yes. synonymous, so like it's fine. Yes, because I think this movie is kind of Easter adjacent, I'll call it. I don't know, someone told me that. It's a new term. Do you know what we're watching? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have it pulled up. It's Steel Magnolias. So okay. this isn't technically my popcorn pick of the month because I'm saving that for another one that we're gonna watch later. But this is my popcorn pick of the month. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's just been highly requested and a lot of people lately I've been talking to, it's their favorite movie. And so I just feel like it needs to be watched. It's got a stellar cast, I think. Julia Roberts, who I feel like is criminally underrated on this, I mean, under shown on my channel. Mm, like yeah. me. She's so great. She's so great. And it's got a Sally Fields, who I love. She's the mom and Mrs. Doubtfire. It also, oh like, yes. She just yes. has like a warmness she and does. she reminds me of she my does. grandma. And then actually I, uh, those are the only two I know. But uh, the cover of it is just like um, like seven Funny. women all together. And Funny. so I think it's gonna be fun. And okay, great. Happy yeah. to be here. Yeah, yeah. Don't know anything about the story or what to expect. There's a movie also called Magnolia with Tom Cruise. And Ooh. apparently that is very different than this one. Okay. So not to be confused with, but Steel Magnolias. I'm, I'm excited to see Julia Roberts. Me too. Okay. Okay, remember if you want to vote on polls right now, we have our Star Trek, big Star Trek season three poll going on and there's about to be a Denzel mm -hmm. Washington poll. Um, here's a Patreon and don't forget to like and subscribe here. Okay, let's watch a movie. I love tree streets. I love them. Oh, and I think this is like a classic 90s movie too. <gasps> Fun. Which I okay. just... Oh, Dolly Parton. What a time. What? Oh, Daryl Hannah. I know her. I don't know if you know her. I've actually watched a lot of movies with her on the channel. I don't think you were. What's your favorite Julia Roberts movie? Oceans. <laughs> Um, I do love the ocean. I do too. But like, she's like, yeah, not a man. Yeah. I mean, I love Notting Hill, but not, you don't love Notting Hill as much as I love Notting Hill. I like Pretty Woman. Yeah. My Best Friend's Wedding. Oh, that's it. My Best yeah. Friend's Wedding. Yeah. And I loved Aaron Brockovich, actually. <gasps> I really like that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really good one. I'm kind of getting Father of the Bride yeah. vibes, which I love. I get that. Like, I think it's just like the 90s, the cute neighborhood. Yes. And the I know. I'm like, why is it taking me so nostalgic for like childhood? I know. And like, will it ever be like this? <laughs> Where those flags, son? Yes. Huh? Come on, get out of here. Yes. Damn it. Mama! Three more yeah. meals for you, Shelby. Not now, Tommy. Now, Paul, she's drawing way too dark. Ooh, she's southern. Yeah. Uh, delivery man, someone stop that truck. Stop that. Ah! Don't put ice down my back. You should have drowned them at birth. Drum! Oh, sweetheart, I'm on the phone. Stop that now! The champagne glasses, they're all broken. Help. Oh, <sighs> feels feel stressed. Yeah, for that wedding situation. I can't figure out this girl's deal. I know. I think she's gonna be like new to town. Bud, get in here and finish dying these Easter eggs. That's Dolly. That's Dolly. If those eggs are not at the church by noon, they don't get ahead. No. Easter. Eggs. Yeah. Adjacent. <laughs> Jones, are you an ale? Oh, you sweet thing. Come on. She's so cute. Yeah. <coughs> Oops, I see a hole. Yeah, I was hoping you'd catch that. It's a little bit poofier than I would normally do, but I'm nervous. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I wrap my entire head in toilet paper when I go to bed at night. That is some big hair. Yeah, I know. I think your form and content will improve with time. So, best I can tell, young lady, you've just landed yourself a job. Oh, God! <laughs> oh. Louie, hold up. I want you to meet nail. She's taking Judy's place. Well. 
seems like a gym. Yeah. But also like a classic 90s character. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> I have a strict philosophy that I have stuck to for 15 years. There is no such thing as natural beauty. There is no such thing as natural beauty. You remember that? Well, you must live close by. At least in walking distance, I mean, I didn't see a car. I don't have a car. Been staying across the river at Robeline's boarding house. Well, that's quite a walk. Ruth Robeline. Now, there is a story for you. <laughs> Her whole life has been an experiment in terror. <gasps> her husband got killed in World War II. Then her son got killed in Vietnam. Anel, I'd like to introduce you to the former first lady of Chinkapin, Ms. Belcher. I'm a little embarrassed. I'm wind blown. I think it's the dedication of the new children's park. Janice Van Meter got hit with a baseball. It was fabulous. <laughs> Janice Van Meet is the current mayor's wife. We hate her. Sweet <laughs> gal, where'd you find her? Yesterday when Judy quit, I called up to traits, and Anel was the valedictorian of the hairdo class. And I think there's a story there. <laughs> These, it's like yes. the classic small town. Mm -hmm. And add in the sun there. Yeah. The Golden Girls. Yeah. Swat! I don't know how Malim puts up with that. Yeah, I think we could be done. Yeah. Is this the fiance? The groom? Uh oh. Oh. It's not a good look. That was not a good look. Jackson, please. I'm gonna talk some sense into you. It's bad luck to see me before the wedding. So you are gonna marry me. Oh no, we can work this out, Shelby, please. You know you wanna go through with this. You don't have to give back all the wedding presents. That VCR alone's worth getting married for. And I love you. Say so you're gonna marry me. I hate suspense. You meet me two o'clock, Presbyterian Church. I'll be the one in the veil down front. Okay, so there's like a little bit they have going. <laughs> okay. Where's your father? His coffee kicked in. Oh. Shelby, let's go. Hi, Mama, I said I'd be right there. Oops. It's Miss Weasel. Back door. <laughs> Malian! Open what is eyes. happening? You look like hammered shit. Don't you talk to me like that. Sorry, you look like regular. Where's he from? He was in um, contact. Remember, he was the guy we didn't like. Stop that! Stop contact it. where they try to meet the aliens. Oh, right. He was the scientist. I'm not the sure other scientist. For all this noise that you've been making around here has been causing a nervous condition to my dog. All his hair's falling out. Oh. I don't know if I'm coming or going. Yeah. Oh, damn it, Weezer. I don't want to have to kill you. Boys, bring me my gun. I got to scare away about five zillion birds this afternoon before Shelby's reception. That dog is on his last legs. What am I going to do with that poor Serve animal? Serve him on toast. <laughs> what? <laughs> you get those magnolias out of my tree. The judge has not decided whose tree that is exactly. I will speak to Malin about this. So she's the neighbor? I think so. Well, Malin, looks like you're ready to roll. And I think we can trust the nail here to do that. Honey, her quaff your cards in that little box on the counter. Oh, I don't know. Today is a very special day, and my work tends to be too poofy when I'm nervous. You're a professional now, so just get over there and bang some hair. <sighs> What's Jackson like? He's really cute. And I thought he was a pest at first, and he kind of grew on me, and now I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea of growing old with somebody. Are you going to quit your nursing job? Never. I love being around all those babies. Drum and I both feel that she should not work after she gets married. You should not be on your feet all day long. You should be kinder to your circulatory system. You know what you need in here, Truvy? Mm -mm. You need a radio. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Antilly family selling KPPD. I wonder how much radio stations sell for. You should buy KPPD. What would I do with a radio station? Shelby and I, we agree on one thing. The, the groom's, groom's cake. <laughs> it's in the shape of a giant armadillo. An armadillo? Jackson wanted a cake in the shape of an armadillo, and he's got an aunt that makes them. A groom's cake? Yeah, is it ever heard of that? We talked and talked and talked. I love those kind of talks. Actually, we fought most of the time. You fought? Well, because I told him I wouldn't marry him. Why'd you go do a thing like that? We, we worked it all out. Well, it's probably just one of those last-minute jitter things. Oh, but the wedding's still on. Thank goodness, because this is going in the hairdo hall of fame. I miss romance so much. Uh-oh. 
Her face. I know, she's getting really nervous. I have something that could cheer you up. Drum and I have been planning on talking to your husband about building a room under our house. Oh no, is she having a panic attack? She's also a runaway bride. So. I know, I was just thinking that runaway bride. You have great hair. And your scalp's as clean as a whistle. Oh my gosh. Someone help her. Shelby! Malin! Maybe there's some candy in my purse. I have some right here. Shelby, hold on. Claire. She diabetic? I don't know. Shelby, you need some juice. You need some juice. Please drink the juice. No! No, here you go. No. There you go. Is it a medication? She just has a little too much insulin, that's all. Cooperate, please. Honey, drink, please. What's going on? There you go, there you go. This feels weird. Very weird. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. Oh. He's making some sense now. Shelby's afraid that Jackson will be throwing away his chance to have children. That's why she said she wouldn't marry him. Yeah. Jackson said, Shelby, don't be stupid. There's plenty of kids out there need good home. We'll adopt ten of them. We'll buy them if we have to. Jackson sounds like good people to me. Oh, Mama, I'm sorry. It's all right, honey. I'm sorry. It's all right. I didn't... I mean, I don't think it's diabetic. Right? So it's like a, I don't feel like that was a diabetic reaction. Yeah, I think so. But I think now they've made it way more manageable with... Like, do you think she, like, doses herself and, like, with insulin? I can't remember that your insulin came out. You're right, you're right. That is one ugly dog. A little early, ain't you? That is precisely why I'm here. I've got to talk to Malin about her husband. He is a boil on the butt of humanity. <gasps> They're blanks. Drum would never, ever point a gun at a lady. I bet he takes the dishes out of the sink before he pees in it. <laughs> I feel like all of these eggs are gonna... Well, I just moved into town not too long ago. With your family? No, Ma, I don't have any family to speak to. Your of. husband? My husband? Yes. <laughs> They're like, oh, interesting. Actually, we also would like to know the story. I don't know. You don't know? I'm intrigued. Are you married or not? These are not difficult questions. I can't talk about it. Of, of course, course you can. can. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I'm married or not. He's gone. Men are the most horrible creatures, honey. They will ruin your life, you mark my word. Everything is horrible. Funky, that's my husband. He just yeah. vanished last week. He took all the money, my jewelry, the car. <gasps> most of my clothes were in the trunk. He's in big trouble with the law. Police keep questioning me, but I don't know anything. They say that our marriage may not be legal. Well, we should have said something. I was scared to. I need a job in the worst way. My personal tragedy will not interfere with my ability to oh. do good hair. Of course it won't. We are hateful, awful people. Here, all we've been talking about is weddings and psychotic animals. What can we do to help? I know one thing I can do. This afternoon, you're going to drop by my house, lead an armadillo groom's cake. Oh, no, I couldn't. I still get real emotional sometimes. Well, not today, you won't. It is going to be a great party. I don't have anything to wear. I'll bet I have something that'll do. I'm going to call the house. Oh, she's so, like, helpless. No. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh my gosh. Up. This is ready, so ready. cliche and I actually <laughs> love it. <laughs> we got a wedding to put on. Let's light some stuff on fire. Yeah. Please oh. don't light on fire. Please I don't know. light on fire. And there's that light thing. I hope no one was hurt. Oh no. <gasps> I feel bad for her. It'd be so exhausting to be that miserable all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this 80s wedding. I know, it's incredible. Shelby, it's time. Daddy. It's time. Daddy. It's time. Time. It's time. <gasps> look at all that. <laughs> Pink. It looks like a Disney movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those bridesmaid dresses. I know oh, the hats. Our mom wore a hat. Yes, on her, her wedding. I feel like I'm looking at like my yeah. mom's aunt's yes. old wedding albums. <laughs> I can't tell like what this movie's gonna. Like, yes, what the story is going to be, yeah. Shelby loves you very much. 
I hope so. Like Father of the Bride was about like him like going crazy right. losing his daughter and like but this is this just like one of those like family ensemble movies and the ongoings of the yeah, family? Yeah, yeah. Which I'll be okay with. Me too. I know when you're young, it seems like everything will always be perfect. Maybe it will be. Promise me you'll think about it before you make any big decisions. I know what you're saying. So, are you a friend of the bride or the groom? Neither. Shelby invited me. I don't know why I'm here. Well, I'm Sammy. And this here is the best cherry coke in the history of the world. I just want someone to help yes, her. Yes, I know. I don't trust anybody that does their own hair. I don't think it's normal. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's disturbing. So that flesh colored icing. Yeah. Thanks, Louisa. That's my good piece of. <laughs> I like how they call her Weezer. <laughs> I know. Now this is Jackson's Aunt Fern Cole from Alexandria. She made the cake. Oh, it's very simple, really. It just takes patience. You only do armadillos? No, I can do anything except snakes. I don't have the counter space. <laughs> what? <laughs> this lady was out of her time. You're sure I was in Cake Boss? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is so 80s. I, I can't know. even handle it. I love it. Wish we still danced like I this, know. though. Well, this is it. You're finally rid of me. I think you'll be back every now and then. Make Jackson Latchery take good care of you. Mama Jackson will take care of me. And I'll take care of him. And I'm not stupid. I'll get my bags. What did they do to it? Let me put it this way. If you and Jackson want to practice safe sex, you're all set. <laughs> I love weddings. I know, they're so fun. Oh. Soda, soda guy. Yeah. Sammy, was it? Hi. Hello. Would you like a ride? I have new shoes. Have to break them in. I can't tell what's gonna happen. I, I know. just like feeling something bad's gonna happen, but I don't With want her? it to. I don't know. I know. Oh, it's Christmas already. Oh, okay. flash forward. Is that okay. Easter? Okay. Now we're Christmas. Yes. Getting good. Best food in Louisiana. Get your little bud over here. She's so cute. Yeah. Hot and spicy, just like a nail. <laughs> a nail. Oh, my hair She's is not the only show. thing that's changed. So much has happened. She gave me a place to live. Now I go to church. I've done guest lectures on beauty at the trade school. I am enjoying the city more, and I'm so excited. It's like Stars school. Hollow. I know. Yes, yeah, so festival. true. Did your mama tell you? Mama never tells anyone anything. Call her announcer for the devils. I'm fabulous. I'm fabulous. <laughs> You bought it. Station of choice and chick of marriage. Ah. Raleigh Bassett got the contract. His bid was six thousand under mine. Eh, he owns all his own equipment. I don't. It's hell to be poor and hired out. Well, I have got some fried chicken here prepared by Christian women, bottle of cheap wine, and I've arranged for some pretty incredible fireworks. I don't feel much like it. What will you will once we get there? I'm happy where I am. We always watch the fireworks. Come on, Spud. Yeah, come on. Station of choice for Chicken Pin Parish. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I myself would never have chosen those quite fancy filthy. I would have gone with the darker color. You're making a fool out of yourself, Clary. This is football. All the people want to hear about is touchdowns and injuries. They don't give a damn about that grape sh I mean, <laughs> we wanted to tell you when you and daddy were together, but you're never together. So it's every man for himself. I'm pregnant. I realize that. Well, is that it? Is that all you're going to say? What do you want me to say? Well, something along the lines of congratulations. Congratulations. I don't understand. I mean, maybe I'm trying to think if you couldn't control your insulin in the same way, 
what pregnancy would do to your body. Or to the baby. Yeah. Would it be too much to ask for a little excitement? Not too much. I wouldn't want you to break a sweat or anything. It's in July. Oh, Mama, you have to help me plan. We're going to get a new house. Jackson and I are going house hunting next week. Jackson loves to hunt for anything. What does Jackson say about all this? So excited. He says he doesn't care whether it's a boy or a girl. No, he really wants a son so bad he could taste it. He's really cute about the whole thing. It's all he can talk about. Jackson Latry Jr. Does he ever listen? I mean, when doctors and specialists give you advice, does he listen? I know you never do. Does he? Huh? I, I guess since he doesn't have to carry the baby, it really isn't any of his concern. Yeah, I guess it must be dangerous. Yeah. yeah. What about adoption? You filled out all the applications. Mama, no judge is going to give a baby to someone with my medical record. Jackson even put out feelings about buying one. People do it all the time. Listen to me. She's already pregnant, so you might as well support her. Child of my own. Mama, you worry too much. In fact, I never worry, because I always know you're worried enough for both of us. Jackson and I have given this a lot of thought. Has he really? Well, it was the first time for everything. Don't start on Jackson, Mama. Your poor body has been through so much. There are limits to what you can do. I'm going to be very, very careful. Nobody's going to be hurt or disappointed or even inconvenienced. Least of all Jackson, I'm sure. You're jealous because you no longer have a say-so in what I do, and that drives you up the wall. Ooh. You're ready to spit nails because you can't call the shots. I did not raise my daughter to talk to me like this. Yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Whenever any of us asked you what you wanted for us when we grew up, what did you say? The only thing I have ever said to you ever is that I want you to be happy. Okay. The one thing that would make me happy is to have a baby. Oh, this is tough. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to have a baby, and I wish you'd be happy, too. I'll tell you what I wish. I don't know what I wish. Mama, I don't know why you have to make everything so difficult. Sure, there may be risk involved. That's true for anybody. But you get through it, and life goes on. And when it's all said and done, there'll be a little piece of immortality with Jackson's good looks and my sense of style. Please, I need your support. I would rather have 30 minutes of wonderful than a lifetime of nothing special. Mm. Oof. She's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, she's already pregnant, so yeah, I, know. I hope her... Right, if she was like, okay, we're gonna start trying. Right. I want you to put the cords behind the pole because I don't want them to show. It'll look tacky. And now did you do all this? Guilty. She's ready to roll. Shelby, would you do the honors? Ready? Down in Louisiana. <gasps> <laughs> Dolly's voice, even her talking voice is yes. just soothing. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Oh, Weezer. I met an old friend of yours, Owen Jenkins. Now, there's a blast from the past. You remember him? He remembers you. Of course I remember him. He had the longest nose hair in the free world. <laughs> well, now he lives in Monroe and goes to First Presbyterian. He asked me if I knew you. His wife just died recently. He's moved back down here. Does this story have a point? <laughs> no, not really. He just remembers you fondly, I think. Well, maybe sometime I could arrange for us all to get together. I managed in a few decades to marry the two most worthless men. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The only reason people are nice to me is because I have more money than God. Now, I'm not about to open a new can of worms. If this is really how you feel, it isn't healthy. Maybe you should think about coming down to the guidance center and talking to someone with that help. I'm not crazy, Malin. I've just been in a very bad mood for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> how does she have so much money, I wonder? I know. <gasps> oh. Miss oh, Weezer. No. What? I've opened the can of worms for you. What? Hell. Hello, Louisa. Remember me? Have you shrunk? <laughs> You've hardly changed at all. I'm not as sweet as I used to be. Shelby does a lot of things I can't believe. Well, then what's wrong with you these days? You got a reindeer up your butt. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> Today, my daughter told me a big secret. Daddy. Nah, nah, don't worry, honey. I'm not gonna tell him you're pregnant. I'm just gonna tell him. Oh! I'm just gonna tell him I'm gonna be a granddaddy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's cute. That is cute. I don't think Malin thinks so. Yeah, though. no, no. And the doctor said Shelby couldn't have children. Yeah, what do they know? The doctor said she shouldn't have children. There's a big difference. This baby is not exactly great news. I really wish I had some words of wisdom, but I don't. So why don't we just focus on the joy of the situation? It'll be fine. Absolutely. Oh, that was optimistic yeah. of Weezer. 
Takes a village. <laughs> May he be as good looking as I am. <laughs> I'll be back from Truvies in about an hour. Anything you want? I think I'll come with you. I want to get my hair cut. Sure. It'd be so much easier to take care of. I'd love to be able to just run my fingers through it and go. I feel the need to make things as simple as possible. Okay, so we're fast forwarded like two years. Yeah. Wipes. They're in my bag. Is he wet? No. <gasps> oh, short, short. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, you don't like it. Well, well, I did what you asked me, didn't oh, yeah. I? Oh, sweetheart, don't. Please don't cry. I love it. Yeah. Well, now, Truvy, let's do my nails. This is a treat. Nobody around here ever wants a manicure. She looks like Tinkerbell now when she was yeah. Tinkerbell on the hook. Oh, God. Your hair is so short. Oh, you're almost chipper. Why are you in such a good mood? You run over a small child. <laughs> Shelby. Oh, honey, what have you done to yourself? It doesn't hurt. Milan, have you seen this? Yes, I have. Shelby, it looks like you've been driving nails up your arm. Shall we tell them, Mama? Well, I guess we can't keep it a secret any longer. Shelby has been driving nails up her arm. It's my dialysis. It's no big thing. Having Jack Jr. put too much strain on my kidneys, now they're kaput. The doctor said this would probably happen. That's all she says. I'll just have a kidney transplant. I'll be fine. Is it that easy? They do them all the time in Shreveport, three or four a week. But the hard part is finding the kidney, isn't it? I saw something about it on TV. These medical teams fly all over the place, taking hearts and kidneys and who knows what else. You know what impressed me the most? They carry those organs in beer coolers. Oh, stop it. I'm lucky I don't have to wait anymore. Mama's gonna give me one of her kidneys. We check in tomorrow morning. Sammy Blaine DeSoto, what is this in my refrigerator? Beer. I don't care what you do in your refrigerator, but you will not keep liquor in mine. Oh, Anel, for Christ's sake. Who? Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. Is that whose name you're taking in vain? That's the one. I'm not about to spend the next 50 years of my life with someone who I'm not going to run into in the hereafter. Oh, Anel, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd rather eat dirt. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> at least once a week. I am having an affair with a Mercedes Benz. No, we're friends. You would like more, and I'm dealing with that. You are playing hard to get. Yeah, she is. Wendy, can check 240 He's in something else. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure about contact, but I can picture him in something else, too. If you let them meet us by everything, we have a very good result, right? Looks good. Looks real, real good. Okay. Thanks. On both? Anything else? <laughs> yeah, what was it despite everything else or something? Yeah. Now we're at Halloween. <laughs> oh look, she looks great. Oh. It says better late than never. Oh. Woo! Oh, look oh, out, oh, Sammy. Oh, Who, nice. Who's that from? It's not signed. Razor. What? <laughs> you recognize this penmanship anywhere. Mm. I just thought oh, Sammy wouldn't mind God. you reading the Bible in bed as long as you were wearing something inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> I fed baby Renz, but I haven't fed Alex, OK? Oh, OK. Got to get home now for Halloween. Okay. Have a good evening. Oh, where did you find it? Aunt Fern made it. I can't wait to get home and try it on Jack. I think I even taught him how to say trick or treat or something, something kind of like it. Uh -oh. Did you hear me that bag, Pam? Juice. Thanks. <laughs> there we go. We'll zip you up and let's go in and make some spaghetti. Oh. Ah. <gasps> oh. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh. Shelby. Hey. Oh no. Shelby. Go and turn. Where's he pointing at? Shelby. Okay. 
Irreversible? It wouldn't. The exercise is a good form. How long has it been? I don't He's know. The when you're holding him. Oh my gosh. Open your eyes, Shelby. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at him. He wants you to open your eyes, Shelby. He wants you to open open your eyes. Now that's oh my gosh. wearing a sexy slip of a dress that bears. Oh. We know where you can get a top of the line hairstyle. Oh my gosh. We don't know how long it's been, right? No. Oh. Is this really gonna happen? I don't know. She has to wake up like her before. Oh. Oh my gosh. I really thought like they would unplug it and then she would wake up. Come on, move your hand, move your hand. Oh my gosh. You're gonna have to get her pink suit. The one with the little red cherries on the pail. What? Wait, I still, I am just, I really didn't think they were gonna do that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they really did this. Yeah. Does this tie go? Yeah. Thought I'd come with you to the funeral, if you don't mind. <gasps> I feel sorry for him, you know? I mean, especially Jackson. She's he, like, he's he coming with me that. and talking about his feelings? <gasps> Something like that ever happened to me, I don't know. I just keep thinking about what an ale says. Lord works in mysterious ways. Oh, that's not fair. She was such a light. I know. You know her smile was just so beautiful. And... <sighs> she had a baby. Oh, her oh. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. The flowers were the most beautiful flowers I have ever seen. It should make you feel a lot better that Shelby is with her king. Yes, Anel, I guess it should. We should all be rejoicing. Well, you go on ahead. I'm sorry if I don't feel like it. I guess I'm a little selfish. I'd rather have her here. I don't mean to upset you by saying that. When something like this happens, I pray very hard to make heads or tails of it. And I think that in Shelby's case, she just wanted to take care of that little baby and of you, of everybody she knew. And her poor little body was just worn out. It just wouldn't let her do all the things she wanted to. So she went on to a place where she could be a guardian angel. She will always be young. She will always be beautiful. And I personally feel much safer knowing that she's up there on my side. It may sound real simple and stupid, and maybe I am, but that's how I get through things like this. Thank you, now. Shelby, as you know, wouldn't want us to get mired down and wallow in this. We should handle it the best way we know how and get on with it. That's what my mind says. I wish somebody would explain it to my heart. Drum says you never left her side for a second. We turned off the machines. Drum left. He couldn't take it. Jackson left. Men are supposed to be made out of steel or something. I just sat there. I just held Shelby's hand. There was no noise. I realized. As a woman, how lucky I am. I was there when that wonderful creature drifted into my life. And I was there when she drifted out. It was the most precious moment of my life. Honey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Sure. I'm so mad. I don't know what to do. I want to know why Shelby's life is over. I want to know how that baby will ever know how wonderful his mother was. Oh, God, I want to know why. No, it's not supposed to happen this way. I've always been ready to go for it. I don't think I can take this. I just want to hit somebody until they feel as bad as I do. I just want to hit something. Hit this. 
Go ahead, Malin. Hear her. Are you high, Clary? This is your chance to do something for your fellow man. Oh. Knock her lights out, Malin. Let go of me. <laughs> you are a pig from hell. Louisa, don't leave. Louisa. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone on the way I did. I made everybody cry. Silly. Laughter through tears is my favorite emotion. Same. <laughs> Weezer can never stay mad at me. She worships the quicksand I walk on. <laughs> Malia, you're in my prayers. <laughs> yes, Anel, I pray. Oh, well, don't you expect me to come to one of your churches? One of those tent revivals with all those Bible beaters? They'd probably make me eat a live chicken. Not on your first visit. Very good, Anel. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell you that Sammy and I have decided if this baby's a girl, we'd like to name it Shelby, since she was the reason we met in the first place. Oh. Shelby would love that. What are you going to name it if it happens to be a boy? Shelby, I guess. <laughs> oh. I've never been so uncomfortable in all my life. We'll talk about uncomfortable when you're nine months pregnant, OK? Now? Ready? Yeah. Give them a shot. OK. Open them up. All right. <gasps> Once upon a time, beautiful young girl named Shelby. And Shelby had a lovely, kind, and wonderful good fairy named Larry. There was also a horror, evil, ugly witch named Weezer. <laughs> These are neighborhood things. No. <laughs> Go, Red! You kill! Quit it, Drum! Stop egging him on! <laughs> Everyone lived happily ever after. It's almost time for the Easter Bunny. Run <laughs> on down. Hmm? <laughs> Hi, Jack. You remember me? It's your old pal, Weezer. <laughs> ah, Jack! Oh, Jack. Is he all right? Oh, truly. Oh, honey, oh. it's OK. It's OK. She's going to have a baby. <laughs> 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 Where's the baby? Where's the dad? Yeah, they're getting Sammy. Okay. They're getting the bunny. It's gonna happen. <laughs> 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 they're driving in the grass. He's at the Easter Bunny with Sue. What did you think? It was fun. <laughs> I know. I mean, and it was sad. <gasps> so sad. Yeah. I but wish she would have been okay. I know. Yeah, that part like was, I don't know, I don't know. I, like, I still think kind of from the beginning, I was like, what was the story? Like, was it just like I know. her I think it was live, kind of just like a, a slice of life movie. Yeah, yeah, which I like, really liked it. Me too. You know, like I'm not complaining. Yeah, I don't it know how to describe like, it, but I'm not complaining. Friends. Yes, I do think it was about like those women coming yeah, together. Yeah, me too. Like the and and kind of reminds me of like the Golden Girls, like the Julia yes. Girls. Like it was like about friendship and community, and a mom and daughter relationship, and even like Truvy and her. It was just like yeah. this small town mm -hmm. slice of life story, and it felt very like real and totally. like different life dynamics you see between siblings. Yes, and the sons versus the daughter. And, and it was a different married couple. It wasn't and... even like there was no or there yeah. was no it was just literally the story of them living their lives yeah yeah and like this tragedy mm -hmm. but that like mm -hmm. brought them together and they still had laughter and like oh yeah it was really sweet it was really really sweet so and magnolia. really sad yeah <sighs> and julia roberts is and she really does just light up yes the screen she is incredible yeah, yeah. It was, it I just, good. I, it makes me want to go watch like every Julia Roberts. Yeah, I know. Movie. I get all like actress kicks or actress yeah. kicks too. Yeah. Like when you said Runaway Bride, I was like, I yeah, seen that in so long. I want to watch that. I know. Okay, so. well, definitely Easter ish. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think we got like it was. It was kind of like Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Feeling. Yeah. I get like, that. Especially it's just a small, small town. town and the seasons. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Like, yeah. I get that. Okay, that was okay. really sweet. And guys. <sighs>
really sad though. Yeah. Okay. Thanks okay. so much for watching along with us. Have a wonderful night.